guys welcome back to my channel today we have a very different look so i saw on tiktok that fox eye makeup was trending i mean it's been trending for a while it's been trending for a couple months but i saw it a lot recently when i was on tiktok and i really really wanted to try it especially because it's something really different than what i usually do and i didn't know if it was gonna work on my face but I don't think I did that bad. <laughs> so today I just wanted to talk and like give you guys updates about what's going on in my life or kind of just like things that have been going on in the past, kind of just showing you guys through my vlogs. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like and if you guys want to see more of me, make sure to subscribe and also press the bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video. And if you guys want to see how I did this, then keep watching. Henry's creeping. That's what happens, Henry, when you be creeping. Oh, what's going on? I'm having really bad allergies right now, so if my nose is extremely nasally, I am so sorry. Also, um, because I'm just using natural light, sometimes the light goes kind of crazy, so please be understanding of that as well. So I feel like it's been a while since I've kind of just like done actual life updates. I think everything I just assume that people will know, um, and I felt like now is like a great time since my life's kind of slowed down because of this virus as I'm sure many other people have also. Oh, I think I need a pin. Hold on, let me let me move my hair up. A lot of you guys know I live in a studio and I moved out from living with a bunch of my roommates. Um, we had been living together since sophomore year of college. So it was probably like four years. And then um, when we moved out and we lived in our other apartment, um, one another one of our friends joined us it was super fun i decided that i wanted to live closer to the city and closer to my work and it was funny because actually one of my co-workers she lives really really close to me like i've gotten really close with her since usually we commute home on the same train together plus um we actually joined a gym that was near our area at the exact same time and that was really nice just because then it felt like i wasn't doing things on my own Ooh. this is like practically no mind i was gonna say it's practically skin tone but it's not um obviously living alone compared to living with a bunch of other girls is like a huge step I'd say in the beginning, I was like really, really lonely, but I also loved having all my own stuff and deciding that. I think like when I went to art school and I studied interior design, you like create your own aesthetic, obviously. So like having my apartment was like how you could completely execute what you wanted to do aesthetically. So it's honestly been so fun kind of just like playing house and like buying all this like furniture and like all these appliances that I've always wanted. It took me forever just to find a like silverware pack that I wanted because I'm so picky about all those kind of things. And even then, like, you know, like obviously like I don't have that much money because <laughs> I came out of art school, <laughs> but um, it's kind of like, where do you want to put your investments? and living alone um definitely taught me a lot of that but i've now really come to enjoy kind of how i live um obviously you know because i was clearly lonely i ended up getting a cat but my problem was is that i'm really really allergic to cats like i'm super allergic to any animal that sheds a lot obviously cats being the main one but one of my friends she was like telling me like it Hedgen, like don't worry you can get immune you just have to like get used to it and how she apparently had allergies and how a bunch of other people that she knew had allergies and then they all got immune and all these things so then i was like okay fine like let me see so then um i decided to go look at some what are they called like adoption centers yeah i think it's called they're called adoption centers um that were like in the city so i looked online and i found this gray cat named nunu and he was in the upper east side at some adoption center so me and eric decided to go and we found him we literally only went to that center just for nunu and he was so sweet he was like the sweetest thing ever so friendly but like he had something really interesting with this front paw and i was like 
I don't know. It was just like something was kind of like weird. And so then I, I just like couldn't understand what it was. And then I found out that he had an extra thumb. So he had, he was a polydactyl. So when we first got him, we thought that he had six fingers on his front two paws. But later on, we found out he actually has seven. <laughs> And it sounds so weird. It's it it does. It I think it takes some time to get used to, but like now I'm so used to like I don't really care. There's nothing negative about it. It's just you gotta cut more nails, but um it's not like it affects him at all. I don't even think he knows that he's not like a normal cat. So after being at the adoption center for a while, we finally decided to adopt him. Um and now, as you guys know, it's Henry. So Henry's actually three years old. So I've had him since September, and he's been a great addition to the family. Um, you know, I try to train him. You can't train a cat. It's like, I just can't do it. He's so stubborn. But he's been really good because he doesn't scratch furniture like at all. He doesn't scratch anything. He's like really friendly. He's not shy. He like will come up to people and he'll like let you pet him um but he's a like, really good he's just like not that loving <laughs> which is okay i don't need i don't need a cat that's gonna be all over me all the time i i understand i i get it so that's kind of how we ended up with henry um that's probably the biggest thing after me living alone that happened in my life Quarantine has been a great way for me and Henry to bond since he's never with me 24-7 and now we're like forced to be with each other and let me tell you he didn't like me I say he doesn't like me I mean he did like me obviously but like he liked Eric a lot more why I have no idea I'm like I'm with you all the time why won't you love me but you know what can you do I guess Eric just gives him some special love I have no idea I'm like so happy that I started filming again. I feel like when you work all the time, it gets kind of boring at a certain point. Like I just like, I'm like, ugh. So it's so routine and I love routine, but it's just like, sometimes it's not fun, you know? But after quarantine, I'm actually trying to move out to a different apartment. I just don't like how dark my apartment is right now it's like way too dark for me i just want an apartment that's like a little bit brighter i i am the type of person that needs to like i like waking up to the sun and i like i like natural light but i like lose a lot of it because my apartment faces another apartment so there's just like not enough natural light for me so hopefully i can find one except i'm just scared because of like quarantine um and like who knows when we'll be able to get out and i feel like a lot of like the market it's everything is just like all over the place because of the economy <laughs> because of everything so i am a little bit worried i might not be able to find a new apartment um especially in my budget okay, i think we're getting somewhere Ooh, no, this is gonna be a struggle That was a bold mark. This is looking weird. <laughs> what is going on? I was supposed to look really good. Maybe like, I need to do a little mixing. You know? Just like we'll really let this fan out. I don't even remember what I was talking about, to be completely honest. Um, something about moving out and trying to find a new apartment. Great, cool, cool, Hedgen. Let's focus on trying to get this right. My problem is, is I don't have even lids. So this is like really freaking stressful. Honestly, eyeliner is probably the hardest part of this whole entire thing, so let's really hope I, I nail it because I already suck at doing eyeliner, so... 
Okay, I'm gonna just start with. Ooh, okay. I swear to God, if I end up loving how this looks, I'm gonna look like a fox every single day. <laughs> Honestly, my biggest concern is that front little thing that you have to do because I don't really know how to do that and I just feel like I don't have the eyes to do that, but we'll have to figure something out. My goal is to look like those really cute Asian TikTok teens that are like, look like they're older than me, but they're really just like 18. <laughs> as long as we look like that, I think I think then we're getting somewhere. Blend it out a little bit. I think that's what I've noticed people do. Um, so I'm gonna take a dark color in front, blend it out. Ooh, we getting a little smoky. <laughs> it's right now, just for perspective. It's a Wednesday <laughs> and it's 12.50. So this is pretty wild for Wednesday at 12.50. I feel like I need to do that front area and then I'm gonna stop touching. Did I do it? Whoa. Like, was that the answer? Oh my gosh, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta do the other end. This quickly went from, <laughs> let me update you about my life to, do makeup with me okay I'm gonna just do like a little very light thing on my under lids here I'm going very minimal I'm just doing a little bit of brown there just so it looks like we have something oh my gosh Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes because I just feel like that will make or break it and that will determine whether I upload this video or not. <laughs> I just, I think I've been watching way too much TikTok these days. That's my problem, but it's like so addicting. I literally, once you're on, you can't stop for the next couple of hours. So I'm just honestly waiting to do the TikTok hack for this whole look. Because there was a TikTok hack that I saw, which is what made me want to even do this in the first place. So the girl, she used like kind of like a winged out type of lash. I unfortunately don't wear those kind of lashes because I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. And so all my lashes are just like... <laughs> but the only lashes I have that kind of like get bigger towards the end are probably the top ones. You see how it gets like small and then bigger. So I'm gonna try to use that one. She did like this thing where she put like the end not near her eye, but like a little bit more above. And like that really gave the shape. So I'm gonna try to do that and hope that I don't look stupid. You can clearly see that the lashes are so far off. Cause do you see that? Do you see that? I feel like I gotta let it under dry so I can kind of figure out how to place it. It just, this doesn't look like fox eyes. It just looks like... I'm gonna just very lightly um, do my under lashes. That's just like a me thing, you know? I feel like you have to like really, really contour. You know, like these are models, you know? I need to shed half of myself to even be these people. <laughs> I've given up on talking. There's no point. I'm way too consumed into trying to be a TikTok fox girl. And I need to, I need to contour my nose like a beast. Okay, let's do like super duper light blush. Just because the focus has to be on the eyes. I'm gonna just do like the lightest amount. Highlight is apparently really gonna bring it, says the internet. So I'm gonna really highlight a lot. Oh, 
Oh yeah, right there. We gotta highlight our eyebrows. Oh my gosh, and I really just so ever so slightly kind of want to do the inner portions right there. I'm actually kind of doing it far away. Oh my god, this really came together. I wonder if I actually look like one of those girls. Okay, let's let's get this all together. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Do you think I was successful? I don't even know. Like, how does one person pose like a fox girl? <laughs> like with a fox eye. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Today was half updates and half just morally supporting me through trying to get this look done. But if you guys like these kinds of looks, let me know. I'd be so interested in continuing to try to recreate more things like this. Something very out of my comfort zone. So yeah, but I will see you guys next time. Bye!